Wow, look at this, guys. Like, you come to New Jersey and you think you see this? No. This is not in New Jersey, everybody knows. All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to our video. So today is May 12th, 2020. So I'm here, you guys can see, wearing a life jacket right actually here at Lenape Lake. Um, they did close the park down, so I had to launch next to the road. And um, yeah, we got the kayak right here, as you guys can see. We're gonna be going out there looking for some bass, pickerel, and then sunfish. It looks pretty calm on this side, a little windier out there. So right, we're, we're just gonna start off patrolling this left side, making some casts with the Z-Viber, maybe the Storm Shad, see what we can get. Then we'll troll down to the west end of the lake where, uh, where this thing gets fed. So it's a nice cedar lake right here. You guys can see the water's clear but it has that like whiskey tint to it. So we're gonna head out there, guys. I'm really stoked to fish. Hopefully don't get too wet. Hopefully don't get too cold. Should be around 63 today. So we'll see you guys out there. See you on the GoPro. I'm really stoked to get out there and fish. We'll see what happens. Hopefully catch some good ones. Peace. All right, and let's, uh. Let's depart, We're gonna stick to the left side of the lake because of all the wind. I don't feel like getting blown around that much. And we'll see what we can do, guys. Hopefully it's a fun little day. See what happens out there. There we go, guys, sick. We're off. The kayak is out. Let's see what we can find. Beautiful day for a little yak trip. Just hope the winds aren't too bad. All right, let's toss out our uh, storm shad right here. Is one of the baits we're gonna troll. Just gonna toss this guy out a few feet behind the boat, not too far at all. Just cause I don't know how deep it is. And then we'll t throw out a Guggen Squad uh, crankbait as well to troll. So this is my little bait caster setup right here, guys. Really not the best, I know. Guggen Squad Scout I found on another lake near me. Um, 12 pound test mono. Shimano K is real. And let's just let that baby float, drift it back a little bit, let out all the line, and then we'll uh, just paddle this way, trying to stay out of the main lake so that I don't get uh, too wet and too windy. Well, let's see what happens. Hopefully we pick something up on the troll. If not, it's all right. We'll just see what happens today. Didn't think it was gonna be this windy when I first got here or planned this trip, but you know what, it's all right. It's gonna be warm later today. I'm gonna be fishing right next to these trees. Maybe get some bass. There are some big ones in here. I think they're up to like nine pounds. I've heard caught in here, which is pretty freaking huge for New Jersey. So let's uh, keep going. Just gonna paddle straight to the west end and uh, we'll see what it's like. And there's the first little gust of wind. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, well guys, the first Guggenism of the day has already occurred, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure I had a fish on the crankbait. But as you guys can see right here, I just lost all my line. I might have had a fish on it. I totally forgot. Oh God, I totally forgot bait casters. Don't make a drag sound. And uh, pretty sure someone took that. But if I see some mono flowing around the lake, actually it's right there. Let's go see what's up with it. I cannot believe that just happened. Let's see if we got fish on here or what. What's up with this thing? There's a crankbait. So my guess, guys, we just had a fish and then hooked them. And then this thing just popped out. <laughs> that is really funny. Can't believe I just lost that thing. It's all right though. All right, let's cut that off. Clean up our little mono mess right here and then we'll uh, be on to the next spot, I guess.
right, well guys, just got to the first spot we're gonna stop at right here. Just a little, I don't know, a little dried up little beach over here covered in grass. It is so incredibly windy out there, guys. You could probably hear a little bit on the GoPro and see it, but those waves were huge. The GoPro died like a little bit in there. I thought it got too much water in it and shut off or something, but thankfully that wasn't the case. Um, so I'm just gonna fish this little shad around uh, this spot at least. And then the creek that I wanted to fish is actually to the left. So we're gonna keep going there. But I'm just tossing around a little Northeast Jigco uh, Magic Mullet. I think it's three and a half inches. Some natural colors. Water here, even though it is stained with tannic, it is a clear lake. So just gonna fish this around a little bit. Probably won't make too many casts. Then I'll be back in the yak and uh, we'll see what we can do. It is so windy, guys. I'm soaked to the bone right now. I just hope we catch some fish when we get back out in the main lake and get back to that creek. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we are deep, deep within this creek. You can see there's like no sign of civilization out here. I love it. You can't hear any cars. I heard a few gunshots, but probably just people hunting. It is very windy though. Munching on a little nature valley. Starving, it's been a long time I've been here. I've been here probably three hours now. Still no fish, mostly just paddling and getting soaked. But instead of fishing from the kayak and getting snagged and getting wet, I'm just gonna find little pockets like this, pull up on the bank and make some casts. So I know for certain there's gotta be some pickerel back here. I did wanna catch one of those legendary Lake Lenape bass, but you know what? Life is full of trial and error, so been more errors than successes recently, but I'm not gonna complain. I mean, if you look around, I mean, it's gorgeous out here. I'll see what's happening, cast this little um, Northeast Jigco around, and uh, hopefully get something to bite. We'll see what happens, guys. Expectations aren't super high, but I do expect to catch at least one fish in here. Looks pretty good, might bring out a frog. Cause it is pretty calm back here and there are a ton of lily pads. We'll just see what happens. Oh, there's a fish. Yes. First fish of the day. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. That was so crazy. Oh, it's a little pickerel. Actually, maybe not a little pickerel. It's a decent pickerel. Here, dude. Dude, that was so sick. <laughs> first pickerel of the day. First fish of the day. Little pickerel tied on a little spinner. There we go. Little pine bear and snot rocket. I knew there was gonna be some pickerel back here, but the thing that made this catch so cool, dude, I was reeling this in, had the fish on, you guys saw him hit the first time, and then I watched it fall out of his mouth, and then he hit it again as I was retrieving it. So he hit it twice, hungry little guy. I was actually tossing a frog around before this as well, and I got a hit, might've been a pickerel. Not 100%, but he inhaled those trebles, dude, Jesus. Poor little guy, took a while to unhook him. Still kicking though, those guys are very hardy fish. There he goes. All right. Yeah, he destroyed that treble, and the treble messed up that little guy's mouth. Poor fish. But we're going to make some more casts. Happy we've got the skunk off for the day. Might just be another pickerel day. I mean, Pine Barrens, really what you got. Lenape Lake does have a few bass, but 
bass really aren't native here even though they have been here for a long time they're not native so their population is probably less than that of the pickerels but we'll keep casting we'll see what we can get i'm sure we'll get another fish at this spot and then we'll uh move somewhere else just keep casting a spinner around i know love on anything bigger than this so when in doubt just go small and we'll see what we can do guys See what shows up. All right, well guys, could fish this spot a lot longer, but there's a lot more water to explore and fish, so. Had a few more uh, little pecks while we were waiting. Fishing the uh, little spinner right there. A few more little taps, but no real hungry takers. And looks like there's not that many fish over here, so why just hang around when we can go to some other places, so. Let's pop out of here my nature valley wrapper in the kayak and let's uh let's see what the rest of this lake has in store and there we go that was awesome that was awesome Another little pickerel right here. Grub. Ah, we don't need the net. I saw his wake come over. Sick little pickerel. Awesome, there he is. All right, there we go, spinner's out. Little pickerel right here, probably shouldn't live him like that. That's all right, and there he goes. Awesome, those guys keep choking the treble hooks really annoying I didn't plan on catching like those little midget pickerel all day but I mean they are absolutely inhaling those trebles so if I get another one like that I don't know what I might do might switch up lure or something but I mean it's catching fish but it's taking me forever to unhook them I feel bad keeping the fish out of the water for that long so right now we're just blowing by here wind is starting to kick us out of that little creek that we were in and just seeing what's out here. We'll just fish as, it, as we drift by, see what pops up. Hopefully no more pickerel, but we are in the Pine Barrens and that is a lot to ask for when you're out here. Oh, dude, no way. What the frick? Fish hit it right by the... Oh, that sucks. Fish hit it right by the kayak, literally inches away. And I hooked him. It was a good fish, I think. Oh, tangled up. Dang it. Never really know what you're gonna catch back here. There's fish, little tiny pickerel, all the way to six pound bass, and maybe some redfin pickerel. I haven't caught any little panfish despite using a spinner for a good amount of time. But oh, there we go, got a spinner back. I really like this little cove right here. There's a little gap between both sides, shallow and then deep with a lot of current. So, there, I know there has to be more than one fish in here. I can't be the only one. Bite again, man. Missed. Him. There goes that turtle.
There's a fish. <gasps> yes! New species of the day. It's a yellow perch. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That is epic. Awesome little new species of the day. Not new species for, for me, but just beautiful yellow perch right there. Another one on the spinner. When in doubt, use a spinner. There we go, guys. Oh, oh, oh. No, that was the thumbnail fish too. All right, little yellow perch <laughs> falling over the side of the kayak. Not the end of the world right there. But uh, yeah, I'm happy we caught that. I thought it was a little redfin pickerel for a second when I first hooked them. But uh, yeah, that's a little yellow perch right there. Another native inhabitant of the Pine Barrens. And uh, yeah, the spinner's doing some work. So far we got two pickerel, one perch and one mystery fish that popped off, which doesn't really count. All right, let's keep tossing this guy around and see what else we can pull out of here. Wow, look at this, guys. It seriously feels like I'm on another planet right now. Definitely not in New Jersey. Like you come to New Jersey and you think you see this? No. This is not in the New Jersey everybody knows. This is wild, man. Literally. Super crazy out here. One of the coolest places I've ever been. Almost feels like I'm in the mangroves in the Florida Keys, except a lot, lot colder. I've seen so many cool different birds, turtles, fish. I mean, everywhere you go is just wild. That's why catching fish is always second, guys. I mean, look at this, look at this place. It's ridiculous. Here in a kayak, getting blown around, freezing, soaked, but this is still one of the greatest times I've ever had. I can follow that all the way up, all the way up to uh, Winslow area, but I'm gonna stop right here, turn around, and then just float downstream. See where we end up. Hopefully, hook into a few more fish. See some cool, cool scenery. Some more, some more birds. Maybe a bald eagle. I've already seen a golden finch. Uh, I'm not really a bird expert, but I just know what looks cool. Some cool flowers out here and stuff. It's just wild, wild trip. That's a fish, that's a fish. Oh yeah, another little yellow perch, dude. Awesome. All right, there we go, guys. A little yellow perch right there. All right, there we go, guys. A little yellow perch. Send him off. Here he goes, sick. All right, so just still drifting, just past through that little Cut, I guess a little white perch like to be in there. I mean a uh, yellow perch my bad. So used to catching their white cousins. But uh yeah, went through that little cut, drifting pretty good so far, but probably gonna have to paddle quite a lot as well. So that was a nice little catch. We'll keep going through here, see what time it is. Gotta be back around 2:30-ish. I think
think it's around 115 now, so still a good amount of time to fish. Nice little yellow perch right there, guys. Just keep casting, keep flowing. All right, well guys, now we are back in the car, obviously, as you guys can see. Just got done. Um, I had a great day. I mean, the scenery was absolutely um, stellar. The birds were actually really cool. I'm, I've never really looked at birds like that. I saw a few golden finches, which are actually the state bird, and uh, a bunch of hawks and falcons. Uh, yeah, there was it was just so much life. It was like I was in like a fairy tale. Once I got back to that creek, I mean, there were birds flying everywhere. The plants were actually really cool. I saw some pretty cool flowers. Turtles were awesome. And of course we caught some fish. So we got two chain pickerel and two yellow perch. I lost two other fish. I think they were both pickerel and yellow perch. So that was the only two species today. Um, the report is there is some good bass, bass fishing back there, but you probably do need a bass boat because the access is pretty tight. So I did the best I could with my kayak. It was super, super windy and, I, and the current was actually pretty strong from the, uh, the stream that feeds Lake Lenape. But overall, guys, probably 9 out of 10 experience with the 1 out of 10 missing just some fish. Um, I paddled 4.4 4 and a half miles today. Well, guys, I'm sitting here finishing up editing right now, and it looks like something went wrong with the outro. Um, not exactly sure what happened. Something messed up the filming or whatever. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I hiked 4 and a half miles, but another great fishing session. Always great to just work hard and finally catch some fish. Get out there, explore. That's what it's all about, guys. So without further ado, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Never end the same, baby. Peace out. See you guys in the next one.